Ah, I get this all the time. I woke up with the migraine. Well, today I'm going to try and find the reason why you might be getting migraines triggered. Now I've done endless research on this and honestly, there's no concrete answers. So today I'm just going to give you a few things that I found that are creating migraines for most people out there. Number one, especially when it comes to females is hormonal changes. So when it's almost that time of the month, the changes in the estrogen can cause your body to be out of balance and potentially trigger a migraine. Number two is that you could have sleep disruptions. Now, if you're like my boy, Sinigung, you probably snore lots. <laughs> so maybe your spouse snores. Maybe you have notifications on your phone where you're, where you're, where your watch is always buzzing and waking you up. And maybe you t aren't timing your evening fluids properly. Maybe you're drinking too late, which is making you get up throughout the night and you're having to go pee. Either way, this disruption of sleep patterns can trigger a migraine. Number three is stress. Let me ask you this. Are you bringing your stress to bed? Well, what ends up happening when you're stressed, you start to frowl, right? And when you frowl, you're actually creating the muscles in your face and in your head to tense up. This tension and the stress that you're carrying with you is potentially creating a lot of muscular activity when it should be relaxed relaxing, thus triggering a headache. So one thing that I tell you is that you should have a booklet next to your bed and write down the stress so that you can take it from your brain down to paper. Number four is the food that you're eating. Now, food, you think about it, there's tons of allergies when it comes to peanuts, when it comes to lactose, when it comes to gluten. Now, there might be foods that you're consuming that trigger a migraine. Now, for me, I know if I even have just one cup of coffee, by the end of the night, I'm completely dead to the world. When I wake up in the morning, I can't even open my eyes. I get such crazy migraines. And I know this is what caused it because I'll try and go two days without it, which is a very hard two days. And then what ends up happening is the migraines are gone forever. Then I'm like, yeah, you know what? Today I'm just going to have a coffee. I feel, I, I feel good. I'm just going to have a little bit of coffee. Boom. Right away. Headache. So what was it? That food or that coffee triggered a headache for me. So for you, you might have to start eliminating certain foods for two days. Let them flush through your system and really find out what is potentially causing a migraine. So those are the four main triggers. There's probably more, but now that you know, find a way to optimize yourself so that the migraines become smaller or they might go away entirely. My challenge to you is can you fully detox your body and brain mainly from coffee? Because I think that a lot of people's migraines are triggered by too much coffee. If you think about how much caffeine that you drink in a day, it's probably way too much. And it doesn't matter if you're drinking water, if you're eating the right food, it's still too much and your brain is too percolated and you're creating different hormonal levels in the brain that are possibly triggering a migraine. So can you go cold turkey, no coffee, tea or matcha for two days. And if you do it, put it in the comments, guys, give the video a like, and let me know what triggers your headaches.